step one, make a vertical mini board. And if you don't know, then watch your other video by clicking the annotation. And if it don't work, we have a link in the description below. But before continuing, you have to watch it. Step 2. Adding ID to UL. Here's the markup of our vertical menu bar and what we simply need to do is, is to add ID menu to it and that's the work we have to do here. Finally, getting on the step 3 where we'll be positioning our menu. Okay, what we'll be doing is we'll be setting menu to position absolute and left minus 200 pixel. It depends on the width of bar, how wide your bar is. And moving to step 4, triggering buttons. How will open the bar if you don't have buttons for it? Here we'll be creating two anchors, one with target menu and one with a blank target. Moving to step 5, we will be animating this stuff. And for this, what we'll be doing is we'll be setting menu speed of 1 second and then we'll be setting menu with a target selector to left 0 and that's all which we need to do. That's it! We finally made it and now it's time to check it out as it's our hard work. As you can see here, it's written really nice and smooth and it's all CSS, no JavaScript, that's so much of work. If it's working on your computer, then give this video a thumbs up and, and if not, let me know in the comment below what's the problem and make sure to subscribe me for more as I do make new videos every week. And also don't forget to follow me on Google+, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, all the links in the description below. And finally, watch the other videos you're going on the screen right now, click on them and if the annotations don't work, don't worry, we have links in the description below. And finally. Bye!